Greetings to you, my fellow Alaskans, Alaskans at heart. Caribou Caleb here has been to you another Alaskan video. Today I'm at King Cade Park in Anchorage, Alaska, very close to turning an arm. Probably not going to go there today because it's really cold, about a 10 minute walk. I didn't really bring any warm materials, it's just kind of an offshoot adventure. But come inside with me into their headquarters and come see some wildlife. See what you might could see if you came up to Alaska. Let's go. And this today, we have our special guest, the trumpeter swan and the lesser Canadian goose. Something else unique about Alaska is how these birds are here. The lesser Canadian goose, you know, I've, I've shot those in Colorado. I'm not so sure the Mississippi, probably not. I've never seen them. The bigger ones, either they're there, but the lesser Canadian goose, no. But the swan, this thing is huge. This, this information over here says you can get up to 40 pounds and you might even be able to hunt this thing. I'm not sure. If I shot one, I know I'd definitely get it mounted because the swan is just such a unique trophy. It says, in fact, it's actually the largest of oh, the waterfowl species. just want to show you some kind of unique wildlife to Alaska. Usually you think of Alaska, you think of bear, moose, salmon. But now, you think of swan and lesser Canadian goose. Today I present to you the grizzly bear. Grr, definitely a very ferocious foe. Although he, although many times he is encountered in movies, and, you know, in books and comics, kind of as I said, a light-hearted topic. If you were to encounter one of these things in the wild, it's nothing to be joke about. Enjoy it from a safe distance. However, if you if he comes really close to you, be very very careful. You may want to carry a handgun with you, maybe some pepper spray. Pepper spray, though, if you try and use that, and and the wind's blowing, the pepper spray can actually actually go away with the wind. It would be gone with the wind. Anyways, look at his fearsome teeth. Actually, those are probably fake teeth, so it's a tongue. But imagine those being real, you know. The teeth that he had may have actually been that size. May have actually taken measurements of the teeth with the real there and put the, and made fake teeth as a result of that. Interestingly enough, this was an Eagle Scout project by Matthew Ford of Troop 104. Did he taxidermy this bear? Did he shoot it? I do not know. Here's some tips about bears and what to do about them if you want to pause the video and such but yeah this is a big old grizzly bear thankfully he's not eating me although i would like to eat him also you can see through the glass look at those claws how ferocious those things are how deadly they can be they can rip you apart like butter very leery. We have the American Eagle. America's mascot. We've gone from the lesser goose to the swan, some tundra swan maybe, to that grizzly bear. Now this to eagle. Why well, it's called the bald eagle, I don't know. It doesn't really seem bald. You know, a lot of times when you ask, well, if you were an animal, what would you be? A lot of people might say eagle. Well, I would say that too. These things, these things are very good looking animals. They, they, they fly, you know, they, they just get to go around and adventure. They're kind of solo as well. And they're hunters, so I mean, how can you not want to be an eagle? Plus the way he looks, he's just so immaculate. Just his white feathers just look so pure and pristine. That yellow beak just stands out like a neon light. And that couple of his brown feathers just make him look so fierce and handsome and strong. Certain, you know, I heard that the turkey was actually considered one time for the mascot for America, but fortunately, the eagle was instead chosen. So yeah, I really like the eagle. I spent some time about two weeks on Kodak Island. There were so many, so many eagles there. I mean, there were as many eagles there as there were. I've seen like buzzards in, in Mississippi. The, the eagles were just everywhere. It was just a common sighting. Whereas Mississippi, I've hardly ever seen any, if any, maybe one or two. But at one time I saw them in Alaska too on the side of the road, I mean, alive, you know, maybe like 100, maybe 50 feet off. Maybe there, it, I saw at least one, but there may have, it looked like there are other birds there and probably other eagles as well, maybe if there were, probably like maybe five to 10 eagles. Eagles to me are just so fascinating, just so fast and able to survive. And it's just so majestic seeing one swoop down into a river and catch a salmon and bring it back up. Dad and I uh, were in Alaska one time fishing and we saw what I think was potentially an eagle. 
fly down, and I don't know if you got a fish or not, but the fact you was just watching it dive. So if you come to Alaska, you'll, get, you'll hopefully you'll see a lot of wildlife if you really look for it. There's a catalog over there where it says someone saw a moose on April 3rd. Today's April 11th, I think. So about eight days ago. But Alaska is just so full of wildlife. So especially if you come up here during the summer where it's probably the prettiest in, maybe the exception of fall, very active. If you come up here in the winter, you might see stuff, but you know, if you're going to spend that much money and time to come to Alaska, I would definitely recommend the summer, maybe the fall. But definitely the summer, that's when most of the stuff is hopping. And hopefully then, you will get to see an eagle. Well, I am going to fly away. But before you fly away, be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And be sure to hit that notification bell and get it personalized so that you will get all notifications whenever I post another video regarding Alaska. Hope you have a great day. Fly high, my fellow Alaskans and Alaskans at heart. This has been your host, Caribou Caleb. You take care. Caribou Caleb, out.